Waterloo Information Golf, weather at 1600 Zulu, wind 160, at 3, wind variable between 130 and 220, visibility 9 or miles, sky clear, temperature 2, dew point minus 4, altimeter 3001, approach our nav Zulu runway 26, landing and departing runway 26, runway surface condition, runway 26, condition code 6, 6, 6, Dry, 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 valid from February 12th at 1247 Zulu to February 12th at 2047 Zulu. Friction index runway 26 was not reported, not reported, not reported. Due, due, to system, capacity, expect, restrictions. Inform ATC that you have information golf. And ground, good morning. Uh, Charlie, call from Michael Televictor. Mike Hotel Victor, Waterloo Ground. Yeah, Mike Hotel Victor, we're looking for an IFR clearance to uh, get an O. Uh, Charlie Yankee, November Delta, we have information. Go. Go, Mike Hotel Victor, Waterloo Ground, uh, clear to Charlie Yankee, November Delta, Waterloo 3 departure, flight plan route, and uh, you can squawk 0573 and expect Toronto Center 128 decimal 271 assigned. Okay, uh, Golf Michael Del Victor is clear to the uh, Captain O, Charlie Yankee, now remember Delta uh, Airport via the Waterloo 3 departure flight plan route. 0573 in a squawk in Toronto Center, 128 decimal 27. Mike Hotel Victor, ground repack, correct, advise ready for taxi. And uh, apron 3 ready to taxi, any chance of a 32 departure? Mike Hotel Victor, ground uh, negative runway 26 for departure, the altimeter 3000. Taxi uh, Alpha, correction, uh, just, just stand by for taxi. Standing by for taxi for Michael Del Victor. Michael Del Victor, ground looks like uh, runway 32 is available. Uh, you can taxi Bravo and contact tower uh, 126.0. Just check the wind 140 at 3 and the altimeter 3000. 30 inches on the meter and we'll taxi Bravo, contact tower ready. We check the winds for Michael Del Victor. Thank you, Yankee Delta. Contact Toronto Center now on 128.27. 287, thanks. See you. And so Michael Del Victor is ready for departure 32. Michael Del Victor, tower. Line up and wait only runway 32. Line up and wait. 3 2, Michael Del Victor. Hello, South Park, Michael Del Victor, 1 2 6 0. Okay, Charlie, stand by. Michael Del Victor, tower, stay with me. The wind 1503, clear for takeoff, runway 32. Clear to go 3 2, we'll stay with you for Michael Del Victor. Pop Michael Del, tower. 16 17. Line up and wait 2 6, Pop Michael Del. Okay, I'll tell, clear right base, runway 2 6. Right base, Extra pits, to the hotel. There we go. Airspeed is alive. 40. Check. Fuel computer. 50. And rotate. That is 95. Our Michael Tell Tower, left hand circuit to win 160 at 3. Clear for takeoff, runway 26. Check. Fuel computer. Check. Fuel computer. Check. Fuel computer. Check. Fuel computer. Charlie Echo Foster Tower, line up on the feet. Flaps yeah. coming up. Kill Hotel, proceed direct to two mile final, altitude restriction cancel, report established on final. We're looking at the uh, instrument panel in my RV 14, and uh, consisting of uh, two main screens, so it's uh, from advanced flight systems. Uh, right, now, right now I'm displaying what's called a primary flight display. I'm able to just use two fingers here and slide it over and get a full screen of the map if I choose to do that. So I'll Let's go back and I'll get a 60-40 split with the primary flight display and uh, also a map. And, uh, that's sort of how I fly along most of the time. If you move over to the left here, you see here's my autopilot. Uh, I set the autopilot, turn it on, use a heading, uh, track, altitude, and navigation and so forth, whether I want to use vertical speed or indicated airspeed. This will press the nose up or press the nose down. I also have a button here, if I get in trouble, I can just push that button and it'll automatically level the airplane. This instrument here is my standby attitude indicator from UAVionics, it's an AV-30. And uh, that's just sort of to back up the main flight display, for the main attitude, which is right over here. We'll slowly move along here, of course, a master, an engine bus, and all uh, standby alternator. Here's my main alternator fails. These are all the various switches to switch on the AV master, strobe, nav light. Taxi lights, land lights, pedo heat, and defrost fan. Moving along toward the center of the airplane, this is my primary navigation or 
AF, uh, uh, FMS, Flight Management System. This is where, this is a GPS NAVCOM. So you've got the two NAV frequencies here. But it's also a GPS. If I go to the flight management screen, we can see where the flight plan we originated up here at Kitchener. We went to an intersection called Dabsey, and this is all along a uh, IFR route. We're on a route to, toward Ottawa. These are the various waypoints. It loads those automatically. Right now, we're actually navigating direct to uh, this uh, particular waypoint called Lanark. From Lanark, we're going direct to Gatineau, which is our destination today. Put that away. You can see there's a Lanark. If I go to this one here, we'll scroll in here. As you see, Lanark is depicted right there. And the next airway is in a direct line to Gatineau, which is on the other side of Ottawa. And it's on sort of a uh, harbor pole, meaning that's the standby. A solid line, the magenta line. This is the one we're currently navigating. See the airplane, little airplane there. We're backing along that line. And when you get to land, it'll automatically switch. The autopilot will make a right turn and it'll take us toward the destination. This one here is a standby NAVCOM. Uh, which I can select with the, with the audio panel up here by selecting this button right here. I'll switch three, to zero, zero, this radio. Uh, and uh, right, that's just as a standby. Right now we're actually yeah, talking to... Do you have any already? We we can see, uh, we're talking to Montreal Center. Water perfect, you're ahead of me. 13505. That's the frequency we were assigned by Toronto Center. Montreal Center, hello, sir. Canada 451 with you out of 8000 for 13000. In case I need to, I can use this as a standby radio. This instrument down here is a control head for the electronic fuel injection and electronic ignition. So this is an all-electric airplane where the uh, it doesn't have a mechanical fuel injectors. It has an electronic fuel injectors, just like in a car. And the control head for that system is right here. The ECU, electronic control units, are buried under the under the behind the instrument panel, and that controls all the uh, various systems. One thing you might notice here is it has no red knob. It's missing. I don't need a mixture control because the electronic fuel injection is completely steered by a computer. Uh, and uh, so I have only the prop controller and the manifold pressure controller or the power controller. There's the cowl flap and alternate air. No mixture control. On the right-hand side is just a standby screen, which usually, with, I, I, if I'm flying alone, I'll use that. That's my main map screen, and I'll turn this map screen off. I have this as a primary flight display, and uh, just have this as a map screen. It keeps me all the instrument, uh, uh, the uh, uh, engine instruments across the bottom. If we take this one here and just swipe it like this, well, it... Okay, of course, now I want to demo it. It won't do it. Anyway. Display... That's the primary flight display. You can see right here our indicator airspeed is 156 knots. Our uh, true airspeed is right now hovering around 180 knots with a ground speed of 190 knots. So we experience about a 10 knot tailwind. And uh, so that's a good day anytime you can get a tailwind. I don't know if the camera can see down below here, but this is where I have the controls for the. Uh, uh, engine instruments, they see we're on ECU-1, the primary have a secondary, but they don't tend to use that. These are the two fuel pumps. There's a CPI-1, CPI-2, that stands for coil pack ignition. That's instead of a magneto. I don't have magnetos in the airplane, they're both uh, electronic ignitions. So CPI, that's what that means, coil pack ignition. But of course they're both on, and test those just like you would in the... Uh, uh, the uh, Ignition systems, uh, magnetos, like a uh, North Standard magnetos in an airplane, you test the electronic ignitions just the same way by turning on and off one at a time during the runoff. And that's about it. This unit over here is an O2 sensor. It tells me my air fuel ratio is now 15 to 1, 15 and a half to 1. And that's because we're running leaner peak. I push the button on the ECU to uh, call for the engine to run leaner peak. It, uh, the, uh, computer does that all by itself, all automatically by pushing that button. If I push it again now, that blue light will go out, it'll go off the inner peak, we'll do that during descent and approach.
Porter, 227, they said AFR or air fuel ratio. Lena Peak is about 15 and a half to 16, so we are maybe a little bit below that, but that's a, that's a pretty good. Best power is about 12 and a half to 1 of the air fuel ratio. Thank you, Ivan. Oh, well, no problem. Hotel Mike Victor, descend to 8,001 million, altimeter 3001. 3001 down to 8,000 for Mike Hotel Victor. Hotel Victor, right. Mike Hotel Victor, fly heading is 060, descend 3,500. 060 degrees, and down to 3,500 for Mike Hotel Victor. Yeah, for Mike Hotel Victor, we have a field site. Hotel Victor, Roger, it won't be long. I'll just uh, keep you on the uh, on the vectors until I can point out the traffic to follow. If that Cessna 150 is six miles back, I think we'll try and go in and head ahead of him. Altitude. Hotel Victor, Roger, you can descend and co contact Captain Radio now on 122 decimal 3. Captain O traffic, uh, oh, Captain O Radio, this is Charlie Goff, Michael Victor. Goff, Michael Victor, Captain Radio. This is Michael Tell Victor, RV 14, we uh, did for the visual approach, one way 27, uh, we are now uh, about southeast of the field, I understand there's a 150 inbound. Michael Tell Victor, affirmative, uh, traffic on a three mile final for runway 27, Cessna 150, second traffic in the climb for circuits, runway 27, Beach 19. Okay, we don't have the 150 in sight. Uh, how far back is he? Uh, Mike Hotel Victor, traffic two and a half miles final. Request you stay uh, east of uh, the approach. Okay, we are east of the approach. We'd like an expedited into the field uh, if somebody who needs a bathroom. Negative traffic on a two mile final for runway 27. Mike Hotel Victor, your traffic's a little slower than you. Uh, is it possible to slow down? Slowing down, Michael Velvick. I've got no uh, radio. Can you right. give me the uh, traffic location ahead? Traffic over the threshold. Over the threshold. Thanks, Michael Velvick. Michael Velvick, should you have visual on traffic ahead of you? Hey, primitive, we have him in sight. They're full stop too, so uh, you can land at your discretion behind them if you feel the Okay, thanks, Michael Velvick. Would you ask him to take it long? Thank you.